Every 100 minutes, Louisiana loses a football field of land to the Gulf of Mexico. Since the 1930s, over 5,500 square kilometers of wetlands, an area roughly the size of Delaware, have vanished. The consequences are staggering. Weakened defenses against hurricanes, disappearing habitats, and economic challenges for industries reliant on the coast. But one project is offering hope. The mid Barataria Sediment Diversion, the largest coastal restoration effort in U.S. history, aims to reconnect the Mississippi River to its wetlands, restoring up to 69 square kilometers of land over the next 50 years. With a $2.9 billion investment and innovative design, this engineering marvel is not only a solution for Louisiana, but a global model for combating land loss. Can this ambitious project reverse decades of devastation and secure a future for Louisiana's coast? Let's find out. Louisiana's wetlands are under siege, disappearing faster than nearly anywhere else in the world. Decades of human activity, including levee construction, subsidence, and canals for shipping and oil, have combined with natural forces like hurricanes and rising sea levels to erode the coastline at an alarming rate. Since the 1930s, more than 5,200 square kilometers of wetlands, an area the size of Delaware, have vanished into the Gulf of Mexico. Without immediate intervention, projections suggest another 12,100 square kilometers could be lost in the coming decades. But why does this land matter so much? And what does its disappearance mean for the people, industries, and ecosystems that depend on it? Historically, the Mississippi River played a crucial role in building up Louisiana's delta, depositing sediment along its path and sustaining the marshes and wetlands. However, modern levees, while effective at preventing flooding, have severed this natural process. Now, instead of replenishing the wetlands, the sediment flows directly into the Gulf. To make matters worse, canals created for shipping and oil extraction allow saltwater to invade freshwater ecosystems, eroding vegetation and accelerating the loss of land. And then there's the fury of hurricanes like Katrina and Ida, which can transform once thriving wetlands into open water in a matter of days. So what's at stake? The consequences of this coastal land loss are nothing short of catastrophic. Wetlands act as vital buffers against storm surges, shielding communities from flooding. As these wetlands disappear, vulnerability to storms skyrockets, putting inland areas at risk of devastating damage. Infrastructure, from roads to levees, faces greater threats, with potential damages projected to hit $24 billion annually. And the environmental toll is equally severe. These wetlands are irreplaceable habitats for fisheries, wildlife, and migratory birds, all of which are now in jeopardy. Economically, Louisiana's coast is a powerhouse, supporting five of the nation's largest ports, facilitating 30% of the U.S. commercial fishing harvest and generating billions in tourism revenue. But as the land erodes, so too does this economic engine. Industries like fishing, energy, and shipping are increasingly at risk, and the economic fallout from coastal instability could send shockwaves across the national economy. The human toll is equally profound. Local communities, especially those that rely on the coast for their livelihoods, are facing displacement as the land continues to erode. Some towns have already been forced to relocate, and others may soon follow suit. So, how will Louisiana cope with this looming crisis? In response to the urgency of the situation, Louisiana has set its sights on large-scale restoration efforts. One of the most ambitious of these is the mid Barataria Sediments Diversion, a transformative project designed to reverse land loss and restore coastal resilience. But how exactly does this groundbreaking project work, and what challenges lie ahead as it seeks to stem the tide of destruction? Located at River Mile 97.8 in Plaque Mines Parish, this groundbreaking engineering project is set to combat Louisiana's catastrophic coastal land loss. By harnessing the power of the Mississippi River, it promises to restore up to 69 square kilometers of wetlands in the Barataria Basin. 
an area suffering from some of the highest rates of land loss on the planet. Over the next 50 years, this visionary project will rebuild ecosystems, safeguard communities, and potentially serve as a global model for coastal restoration. But how does it work? At the core of the project is a revolutionary method of mimicking the river's ancient land-building processes. For thousands of years, the Mississippi River deposited sediment along Louisiana's coast, creating and sustaining wetlands. However, levees and man-made channels interrupted this natural cycle, redirecting sediment into the Gulf of Mexico and depriving wetlands of the materials they needed to survive. The mid barataria sediment diversion seeks to reverse this trend by reconnecting the river to its marshes once more. A controlled gate system will direct up to 2,120 cubic meters of sediment-laden water per second through a newly constructed diversion channel into the Barataria Basin. How has this been made possible? Through decades of research and advanced modeling, the project's intake and outfall structures have been strategically optimized to capture and distribute sediment effectively. This system ensures that the sediment is deposited in such a way that it will rebuild and sustain wetlands, helping to counteract subsidence and sea level rise. So what makes the design of this project so ambitious? The project's complexity lies in its combination of massive infrastructure elements. Key components include a colossal gate structure integrated into the river's levee, a man-made channel designed to direct sediment flow, and an outfall system that ensures the effective distribution of materials. Construction also involves the relocation of a crucial section of Highway 23, demonstrating the logistical challenges and precision required to keep things moving without causing undue disruption. Given the region's vulnerability to hurricanes and flooding, durability is a major consideration. The infrastructure is specifically designed to withstand extreme weather events, ensuring that the diversion will continue to function even during the harshest conditions. But what does this monumental project mean for the future? The construction of the mid barataria sediment diversion will take five years, with preparatory work already underway. This project represents a $2.9 billion investment, largely funded by settlements from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. This financial commitment underscores the enormity of the undertaking and its significance for the state's future. Of the total budget, $378 million is earmarked for mitigation measures aimed at addressing potential impacts on local fisheries and communities. These measures reflect a deep commitment to balancing ecological restoration with the needs of the people who rely on these resources. And the impact doesn't stop there. The economic benefits of this diversion are vast and far-reaching. During construction, it is expected to generate $1.5 billion in regional activity and create over 12,000 jobs, providing a critical boost to communities heavily affected by coastal erosion. Beyond the immediate benefits during construction, the long-term economic advantages are equally compelling. Once operational, the restored wetlands will act as a natural buffer against storm surges, protecting billions of dollars in infrastructure and reducing the costs of storm-related damages. Industries that depend on a healthy coast, such as fishing, seafood processing, and tourism will see increased sustainability. Louisiana's fishing industry, which contributes more to national seafood production than any other state in the contiguous U.S., will benefit from revitalized habits, ensuring future productivity. By supporting local industries and creating jobs, the diversion offers both immediate and lasting economic resilience. These cumulative benefits make the mid barataria sediment diversion a transformative economic engine for the region. So, how does a project of this scale tackle the environmental challenges it presents? Given its immense potential impact, the mid barataria sediment diversion has undergone rigorous environmental review. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers conducted an extensive Environmental Impact Statement EIS, scrutinizing the project's effects on water quality, fisheries, and marine life. The insights gathered from these findings laid the foundation for a series of mitigation measures, including a robust $10 million program aimed at near-term fisheries stewardship. 
This initiative is not just about preserving ecosystems, it's about supporting local fishing industries while addressing the immediate ecological needs of the region. But that's not all. What's being done to protect local communities and infrastructure? Surveys of the area's infrastructure and residences are currently underway, pinpointing areas where mitigation efforts are required. These measures underscore the commitments to minimizing disruptions and ensuring that the project delivers equitable benefits to both local communities and industries. But is this just a localized effort, or could this project have a broader impact? The mid barataria sediment diversion is more than a solution for the region, it is a project of global significance. It offers a potential blueprint for addressing coastal degradation that could inspire similar efforts across the world. As climate change and rising sea levels continue to threaten coastlines globally, the lessons learned here could shape the future of resilience and adaptation strategies. This first-of-its-kind initiative combines cutting-edge engineering ingenuity with a deep commitment to ecological restoration. It tackles one of the most pressing environmental crises of our time by reconnecting the Mississippi River to its wetlands. Through this, the diversion will not only help rebuild Louisiana's coast, but also offer storm surge protection, enhance habitats, and support local economies. It's a bold and necessary step towards safeguarding Louisiana's unique landscape and securing a resilient future for generations to come. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest content.